Hi and welcome back, it's Vicky here with a really fun winter card today. I will create one of those cards where you need to rotate the wheel to reveal the message and for that I'm going to use a new die set by my favorite things which is called Peekaboo Wheel. As you can see it comes with a wheel with a die that cuts out a tab as well as four little dies to cut out windows for your messages. But for now I will work with my stamp and create all the focal points that I need and all the little bits and pieces to create my little scene and then I'm going to show you how you can put everything together and how you can create the mechanism. I'm using stamps from the new stamp set which is called Warm and Feathered Hugs from the latest uh, release by My Favorite Things and I'm going to stamp a couple of trees as well as a little owl. I stamp my owl with black ink and I'm going to color it in later on with uh, my alcohol markers and for the trees I went and stamped them with uh, Safety Orange which is the lighter brown color that you see me stamping it now and I will move on to a darker color darker brown one which is milk chocolate and I'm going to ink up only the bottom of the trees this way I achieve a little bit of uh, shading at the bottom of my trees so they don't look as flat now I'm going to use my alcohol markers to color the owl and then I'm going to use the matching dies to cut out everything and when you are going for a card such as this one with a rotational wheel, then it's always nice to have all the elements for the top of your cards ready to go so that uh, you can place them on top, you can see where the um, little window with uh, where the message is going to be revealed is going to fall so that you know exactly where you need to cut out things. So here, as you can see, I'm cutting out a couple of slopes. I'm using dies from the Hit the Slopes die set, which is a die set that I have been using again and again for winter cards. These are going to go at the bottom, so I'm just going to try and uh, decide where everything is going to go. And I'm not gluing anything down right now, I'm just trying to decide where this uh, die that is going to cut out a speech bubble window is going to fall. Now I have used the wheel to cut out uh, this uh, template and this is just um, printer paper. I'm just going to uh, fold it in half so this way I have four quarters. Hopefully you can see the fold lines there. Now I'm going to place it at the back of my panel making sure that this wheel is going to fit inside the panel and you don't see any edges coming out of it. And then I'm going to place the tie on top and make sure that it's going to cut out on one of the four quarters, just inside that quarter. I will use some tape to secure the die in place and then I'm going to run both the white and the blue papers through my big shot at once. And I end up having the blue background with the little window as well as a template with the window in the same position as well. Okay, now it's really easy to decide where you want to stamp the messages and make sure that they are going to fit inside that window. So I'm working on my template now and hopefully you can see the lines that I marked with my pencil, just so you can see them better. I am placing the template on top of my actual wheel and now with the pencil I'm going to mark where those lines are going to fall. And now I'm going to show you how you can do the stamping. I am going to use one of the sentiments in the same stamp set as the little owl and the trees that says, guess who thinks you are special? Now, of course, you can uh, mask parts of this uh, sentiment to stamp it, but I went the easy way. I'm just going to chop off the sentiment in four parts and then I can stamp each and every one of them separately. Now I have placed the template on top of my actual wheel, making sure that the marks on the wheel match the lines on my template and now I'm going to stamp the first sentiment inside the window. Now rotate the wheel 90 degrees, place the template on top, again making sure that the lines on the template match perfectly the dots on the wheel and stamp again the second part of the sentiment. And I will repeat the same process, turning the wheel 90 degrees, placing the template on top, aligning the lines with the dots on the wheel, and then stamp again the third part of the sentiment. It's really easy to do if you have the template, and of course you can create a template once and uh, keep it with the die so that you can use it the next time.
Now I am going to stamp the fourth uh, part of my sentiment, which is special. So here is my wheel ready with all the four parts of my sentiment. And when you rotate it, you can reveal the full message. Now, of course, to be able to get your hands into the wheel to rotate it, you need to cut out a little tab. So for that, there is a die that you can place. I would suggest to place it at the back so that you know exactly where you need to cut out. And here comes the part where you need to secure the wheel with a brad. You can either secure it at the top with the brad, but this is where you will need to cover it up somehow. So I decided to secure it at the back panel, the white panel that I have here. So I'm just holding everything in place with my fingers. I'm using some uh, tape to make sure that this is not going to move on me. And then with a pick tool, I'm just going to create a little hole at the center. And now I can put those two pieces together with a tiny little brad, making sure that I don't secure the brad very tightly so that I allow for spinning with ease. And here is a close-up on how I attached the brad. You can see how easily I can turn around the wheel. You don't want to make the life of the recipient uh, difficult when it comes to spinning. And this is a tiny little stamp set that has been uh, released by my favorite things. And it is called Interactive Labels. It has little words like spin, shake, flop, look, uh, open, slide, things like that, and little arrows. You can use the one that says rotate or spin. I'm going for the little arrow now. And I'm going to stamp it in four different areas, exactly where those uh, penciled dots are. And if you love interactive cards, I think this tiny little stamp set is a must-have because it has all those little words and uh, arrows and little symbols that we need for this type of cards. So now let's put the card together now. I'm just going to add some foam squares at the back of my blue panel there, making sure that when I stick one on top of the other, I don't block the spinning of my wheel. And you can see here a close-up of the wheel in action. As I'm spinning the wheel, the message is revealed. Super fun! Now all I have to do is to just place all the elements at the top of my card to create my little winter scene. The snow banks go at the bottom. The top layer has a foam tape at the back for dimension, while the second layer is uh, going down with tape. And then on top I can add my little owl, as well as the trees. And this is where I decided to use that blue tab that I have cut out from the front panel and I'm going to stick it just at the back. This way the wheel is going to pop more since it's going to be white on blue instead of white on white as it is now. And of course you can do this step before you put your card together. This is going to make your life easier and you won't have to fight with the pieces like I'm doing now. And finally I'm going to stamp some snowflakes. The snowflake I'm using comes from the same stamp set as the rest of the stamps. I'm using a pigment a frost white color box ink. And this is going to create some very subtle snowflakes at the background, which I'm going to finish them off by adding a crystal gem at the center. And here is my finished card using the Peekaboo Wheel and the adorable Warm and Feathered Hugs stamp set from the latest release by my favorite things. I hope you had fun that you got inspired. I certainly had lots of fun creating this card. Don't forget to leave me a comment to like the video and I'll see you all next time.